Oh, welcome to my day. It has started out as one of those days. So let's try to make it a little better. few interesting vintage t-shirts that I'm going to look up. Grave digger. And starting out pretty strong with the books. I've never even had this one. Oh, Nellie's going to be so excited. Oh my gosh, Nellie, my dog. My dog is obsessed with Sully. He's going to be so excited. I'm finding a couple things. I think I need to do one more walk there before I look stuff up. Well, it's eight bucks though. I don't know how much these go for. I guess it's worth looking up, huh? Well, it's up there only going for like 16 bucks, so I think I'm gonna put it back. Huh, I did pretty good. There's only two things going back, this t-shirt and this cat. It's been $16 at the first stop, and of course, because I'm right here, I, I have to. I absolutely have to. I found some really good books in this thing. Not recently, though. <laughs> that sounds fantastic. Rabid, a cultural history of the world's most diabolical virus. No, no, I'm gonna pass on that. I think I'm just gonna walk away this week. <laughs> I almost just got in the passenger seat because I'm used to rich driving. I don't know if I said that he's home with a massive migraine today. All right. The last place was closed to building maintenance, so Salvation Army is going to be our last stop. Those are cute. If that wasn't priced so high, I would definitely grab that. I love vintage bread boxes, and these are good ones. Well, Salvation Army isn't really treating me all that great either. I've got so many copies of last year, I don't even want to get another copy. Well, <laughs> turns out Salvation Army was not a bust. I just sold a copy of this book. It was like a $5 book, but whatever, uh, for 50 cents. And then I found a used and abused copy of Lullaby. This is one of the books I've been super looking for. And as you can see, it's been loved. It's been read over. It's been taped together with my own books. I don't really care. I'll uh, read it and I'll trade it out to a little free library when I'm done. I'm home. You know what comes here? I got you, Moo. He's right there. You can come see it. I got you, Moo. Shh, he doesn't know yet. Look, this one you can actually have. Oh my goodness, you want to come see it? What it is it? It's your very own. Yeah, this one you can have. You couldn't have the backpack. He was so... Okay, bye. Yeah, you're welcome. Now on to the rest of the hall. We got some Stephen King and Dracula, which I'm really excited about. Um, I just recently got done reading Salem's Lot, and the one of the main characters is named Streaker, and I always wanted, well, not always, like, I just finished it, what, a week ago? Anyway, if they took the Streaker from Bram Stoker, Stoker, whatever. Anyway, moving on. I've never sold The Running Man, so I'm not even sure what to expect out of that. Cujo, I usually get about 8 to 10 for Miseries, probably. This one's vintage, so probably eight bucks, maybe. Spooky season. So those are those. I also bought two Harry Potters because I've been doing okay with the Harry Potters. Um, I think my my sweet spot's somewhere in like the six to eight dollar range on Harry Potter hardcovers of this condition. So I spent sixteen dollars total at the first place. I think I spent twenty. All together today. Also got all the light we cannot see, which I originally bought for myself from like a book sale, and then I read the I read the synopsis and was like, meh, I don't know. I don't know if it's really up my alley. So I ended up selling it and it sold pretty quick for I think five bucks. And then I've been looking for this book. Lullaby. It is a very, very used, very loved copy. But that's okay. When it's just something that I plan on reading, I don't really care what the condition is. I recently taped up a book that I got out of a little free library and read and loved it. It's an awesome book. 
So when I'm done with this one, I'll probably just trade it out at a little free library, but I'm excited I got that. And now, on to more. Also brought home the Cheshire Cat. It is a Disney one. I looked it up. I should be able to get like 16 to 20 for it. It's in really good condition. It has the original tags and everything. So, I don't know. We'll try that. And now on to the stuff I'm really excited to show Rich about. We're going to go one at a time. And I just noticed that this is a reprint. Oh, that bums me out. I can still put it in the booth. Um, probably not a lot of money. But it is a 1993 San Diego, San Diego Thunderstream events reprint apparently which is a bummer but that's okay i still like the graphics pretty neat this one is vintage i looked it up um this is the tag it is mohawk mohawk tag this one's pretty worn but it is a michelin man tire vintage t-shirt i didn't even check oh it's not single stitched it is double stitched but it is vintage i looked it up this is a 2014 graphic, so it's not vintage, but it is Grave Digger. And it is Monster Jam, and it actually came from Monster Jam. So, for 50 cents, I should be able to get about 10 to 15 for it. And it, the Monster Jam whole event thing usually comes around about January. So we're looking at like three months from now. So I think it's a good time frame to be trying to sell this. You're a Duesenberg. You're a Duesenberg. You're a I know nothing of this t-shirt. I just frequently tell Rich that he's a Duesenberg. And that's just... Yeah. <laughs> so I know nothing of this shirt. I do believe it is vintage, though. Um, it is double-stitched, so it's not, like, super vintage. I didn't look this one up either, but for 50 cents, I just thought it was really cool. I looked this one up as well. It is a National Heritage, and I couldn't find this graphic, but I found a couple that were similar. Um, so again, for 50 cents, I grabbed it. I also looked this one up. Rolex Kentucky 3-Day Event, and I think the reason why these are holding value is because it was Rolex sponsored, possibly. Um, it is also vintage, made in the single USA. Stitch. Oh, and it is single stitch. Finally, one of the single stitched, but these were I, I couldn't find a white one, but these were bringing some decent value So yeah, I don't know And <laughs> this one I almost didn't even grab and I think this one's the most valuable of all And then I also grabbed a light green swung glass vase for four dollars from a different thrift store Now on to solds. We sold the Pikachu backpack on Mercari for $25 plus the cost of shipping He's so cute um, he's a, pl I don't know if you guys watched that video where Rich got it stuck on his back. Freaking fantastic. But it is an original Pokemon one. Um, it's got, you know, Nintendo tag and all that crap. So I'm excited to send this out. I bought this for 25 cents at a garage sale. So I did really good with this. On Etsy, we've got a copy of Thinner and a copy of The Dark Half, both in paperback going out. The same person bought both of them. Sold thinner for ten and the dark hack for five, and I have I think at least one other copy of this. Yep, somewhere I picked up at the library like yesterday or the day before or whatever it was that I was there, and I'm pretty sure I have another copy of thinner too. Yep, I see it on my shelf. So cool, I can uh, list both of these because it is Friday and I've done zero listings for the thirty listing weekend challenge. So I'm gonna get these ready to go out. Also on Etsy, I sold this cute little guy. I bought like a big lot of Christmas stuff last year, right before Christmas for $8 off Facebook Marketplace. This was one of the things in that lot, um, given it didn't sell for almost a year, but sold it on Etsy for $10 plus cost of shipping. It's a doorknob, hold, like it goes on a doorknob. It's just decoration. It's cute. I thought it was adorable. So yeah, let's get that ready to go out as well. This one's going to be hard to show against the bedspread, but I bought this at a estate sale or something, garage sale, something like that. I think I paid $3 for it. I wasn't sure because of it being clear glass. These ones just don't normally sell for as much or as fast as the colored ones do, uh, but I just like them, so I grabbed it anyway. Sold it on a Facebook Marketplace. I took a $15 offer. 
uh, I had it listed for 20 so I'm, I'm okay with that. It hasn't been listed that long. I'd rather not sit on it. This is another super good score from a garage sale. Uh, we paid 75 cents for this Art Deco porcelain light fixture. It needs rewiring, but otherwise there's no damage. It's got the clicker. It's got the electrical outlet. It's got the little dimmer thing on the the, the dial thing right here. Um, sold it on Facebook Marketplace for $35 plus the cost of shipping. And last on the solds we got Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. I picked this up yesterday at a thrift store. Uh, I listed it and it sold pretty freaking quickly. So uh, $5 plus cost of shipping on Facebook Marketplace. But I only paid like $3.80 for the stack of I think six books. So this already puts me basically with fees and everything like I'm already even. And you guys aren't sick of me yet, right? Because we got some unboxing to do. I can't figure out how to get to my receipt, but I think I paid like $21 for all of these. And thank God they wrapped these good because the box was pretty damaged with a hole in the front and it's been raining for days. The box is soggy. You can tell the box has gotten wet. These even have like a little bit of moisture on them. So the books would have gotten ruined. So first off, we've got The Talisman, which is a hard book to sell. Misery, which did get a little bit of damage to it, but that's okay. That should still sell for five bucks. Skeleton Crew, this one's about done though. I might just trade that out a little free library after a good tape job. Different Seasons, this is a good one. Um, the different covers are like, I can't remember if it's the green that's really rare, but some of the colored covers is what I'm trying to say are worth a little bit more but this one I should be able to get like 10 bucks out of. Now on to the next. Stack number two, Christine. I think the last time I sold Christine I got 10 for it so that's pretty good. Bag of Bones is super freaking hard to sell. I've got I think three or four of those hanging around. Another copy of Misery. This one's also, this one seems to be in a lot better, better condition. Should have no problem getting five out of that one. Same with The Green Mile, the complete serial novel. Shouldn't have any problem getting five out of that one as well. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little disappointed in the condition of a lot of these books. None of this was disclosed in the listing. I only paid 20 so I'm not trying to get like two out of those because I've already got like five, ten, twenty, thirty. So it's not like I'm going to lose money. But I think those are going to be harder to sell. This one I'm not going to be able to sell. This one I'm not going to be able to sell. I mean, I can trade them out at Little Free Libraries after Rich does some tape job on them. But this one in particular, I was kind of hoping would be one of the ones I could get 10 out of. And that's just not going to happen. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. Um, I don't know. That's a bummer. But I still got more. We have another copy of Misery. That one's very popular in this lot. I've got a dream catcher which I can sell this in paperback like no problem I cannot sell it in freaking hardcover to save my life uh, another green mile the complete serial novel I shouldn't have any problem getting five out of that hearts in Atlantis is a five dollar book and night shift this is a newer copy so probably five bucks on that one so I'm making nope I lied can't sell that one either Ugh. So we'll put that one in the trade out a little free library. I mean, whoever finds those in a little free library, trust me, I know because I frequent them quite often, is going to be super, super stoked on the fact that they found Stephen King during spooky, spooky season in a little free library. So, I mean, it's kind of like doing a good deed and I'm still going to make a very slight profit, but considering all the amount of work that it's going to take to list and box them and get them ready to go out, I don't think it was worth it, but for the $21 I spent, we got 5, 10, 15, 20, eventually 25, 30, 40, 50, we'll just say like, we'll just say 50. So, I mean, I'm still making, I'm still making some profit. It just was not the profit that I was hoping for. I don't know, maybe we'll switch one of these out for something that I can in turn sell and somebody else can get really excited over Stephen King books in a free library. Merp, merp. I think that about wraps it up for me today. I'll see you guys on the next. Bye.